Hey guys, Master Ali here. I want to give you an app walkthrough. Um, just in case I can't get a time with you one on one, I want to share this video just to get you qu quickly started. Uh, got my Bob, got my 2020 armor, got the app, got everything you need to do some pretty cool stuff. So, first thing I'm going to do, sorry, I'm just doing horse stance here. Um, you open up the app, you download it from uh, Google Store or Apple Store, just type in 2020 armor. And you'll get, uh, you'll get this screen, uh, this is the login screen. You want to go ahead and create an account. It says sign up now, okay? And then uh, put in a gamer tag, uh, your real name, a password, a pin, and then your email. So a gamer tag is like a, if you've played video games, um, it's like a, uh, something that a handle that people can call you by. It's unique to you, so anyone with the same name, um, you know, it won't matter because your gamer tag will be unique. Okay, and go ahead and create an account. Uh, I'm going to go back and log into my account because I already have a gamer cat tag and mine is Jasper King if you are wondering. I uh, don't know why that's actually the one that I use for a video game. So I'm going to log in and then when you log in you get a bunch of options here. So at the bottom is your first you go to your profile okay uh, and here's where you can uh, do a, a bunch of things uh, like uh, change your avatar, uh, see your previous game history, um, and uh, I'll walk through some of the other things, okay? So, um, first thing you might want to double check with your vest is see if it's up to date, okay? So if you go to settings, okay? And then vest settings, and then connect to your vest. So turn on your vest, there's four buttons on the top here. Turn on the power, okay, for the vest. And double tap it, okay? That's how you sync up the phone to the vest. So you double tap it, and then it'll tell you um, what version it is. So mine's 2.5 and the latest version is 2.5 so there's nothing to update. So that's good to go. Okay. Um, now if you go back to your profile, okay, you go to edit profile and here you can do things like put in your avatar, your intro video. Your intro video is what will be played every time you um, start a game. So make it cool, make it fun. Um, it's, it's really exciting. Victory video, that will play every time you win a two-player match. Um, so for two-player games, obviously you have to have two vests. Um, if you have only the one vest, then the, your intro video is what we'll play. If you don't have an intro video, then your avatar is what will get shown. Um, then you put your real name. Uh, if you have a club, you can put the, the website and your URL and the name uh, and all that. Okay, so that's what it gets shown there. So definitely fill that out. It'll make your uh, videos and stuff way more exciting. And then here underneath your uh, profile is all your previous games that you played, okay, and all your stats, okay, and if you like, for example, click view graph, you can see all the things that you've done in the past, okay. So uh, that's your profile, pretty straightforward. And then let's go through the different games, right? So you have uh, uh, one player games and two player games. Two player games, obviously, you need two vests. Uh, we won't need to go through that one. Uh, today uh, because you guys are going to be playing mainly with the one player games. Uh, I will tell you about it though, I'll, I'll, I'll put a link at the bottom of this video that shows you um, how you could play that. It's like playing Street Fighter or Mortal Kombat or Tekken in real life, it's pretty cool. Uh, you point your phone at the two players and then their scoreboards on top uh, and the health bars go down. Really, really fun. Um, so if you decide to get another best you could do that. But here are the four one player games. Uh, the first one is uh, Reflex, so test your uh, reaction time. Heartbeat, um, test your stamina, uh, hit meter, test your power, and then there's a thing called fit test, which is a five minute test that tests all three of those things. So you do two minutes of reaction, one minute power, two minutes stamina, uh, with three second break, and we put it all together. Okay, um, Okay, I'm going to go ahead and click reflex. You can see here, um, there's a little video at the top that if you play it, it'll tell you what the, how the game works. Okay, um, and then there's two ways to play the game, uh, live mode, live mode or scoreboard mode, okay? Live mode will uh, record you, um, so there'll be a video recording uh, from your phone, and then overlaid on top of that will be the stats, and then scoreboard mode will be none of that, no live video, um, it'll just display it on the phone, and the game plays a little bit differently, uh, but sim test similar things, and uh, you can do some different settings, but mainly you'll be playing live mode, okay? Uh, but go ahead and play with uh, the scoreboard mode anyway. So click live. Um, it's important to choose your gamer tag because if you don't choose your gamer tag, um, so I'm going to sorry, I'm going to go back to describe what I just did. So I click reflex, okay? Click live, 
And now it says choose your gamer tag. It's important to choose yours because if you don't, then it's going to not save onto your profile. Okay. So I just clicked it. I'm going to choose mine. I'm going to put the round length to something short, 20 seconds, but you can make it uh, three minutes or infinity. So uh, no time. But uh, I'd definitely recommend putting a time limit because, you know, who trains forever? Um, then start game. Then you put in your pin so, you know, that we know that it's you. And then it says tap against the vest. Okay, so the vest is on. I tap against it. And now it syncs up. Okay, and then the game is going to just start. So there's my intro video avatar, as I mentioned. Right? And then the game is going to play. So reflex the way it works. It's going to flash once. Oh, sorry. It's going to flash white. And you have to hit it. Okay. Right. And then um, it's going to measure the speed from when the lights went on to when you hit. You can do any hit, any technique. It doesn't matter. Um, but that's the way that the game works. Flash is white. And you have to hit it. Hit it. Okay. And then at the end of the match, it saves your data, uh, saves it here. You can hit view graph, which will be that uh, all the raw data there. Okay. And then uh, if you uh, go back to your profile, you'll see that uh, that's the last game we just played. Okay. And then that video is actually stored on your uh, camera roll. Okay. So I'm going to go to my camera roll and there's, uh, there's that video we just did. Okay, so you can take this and share this on social media, uh, and that'll be really fun. Okay, so that's the reaction game, and then I'm going to go to show you the stamina game. Okay, um, again, it has two options here, live mode and scoreboard mode. Uh, I'm going to click uh, live mode, make it for 20 seconds. Choose my gamer tag, make sure it's there. Start the game, put in my pin. Okay, it says to tap. Now this one's interesting, the way we calculate stamina, okay? Um, what we look at is how much energy we, you put into the system every 10 seconds, okay? Because a match, um, the way it goes is usually has um, a 10 second interval is what an exchange goes for, okay? So when we show that, uh, it's as graphs down here at the bottom and then we show you what your current interval is your best interval your average the total power that went to the system and the total number of hits okay and uh, I only had that for 20 seconds but uh, then we again we show you your your final results and then you can view the graph okay so the goal for this um, this mode is to keep on hitting it as much as you can right just tire yourself out and then see how much energy you put into the system, uh, how many joules, and because um, what is stamina? Stamina is power sustained over time. So how much power you have at the beginning of the round versus how much you have at the end of the round. Um, if you have the same amount of power or you can see that it's pretty consistent, then your stamina is good or not good, uh, as in my case. So that's how the heartbeat game works. And then um, hit meter, okay, that's the power game. I'm gonna go back to that one. Okay, go into live mode again, round length, 20 seconds, pick my gamer tag, hit start, turn my pin, double tap, okay, and the way this one works is um, it shows you how hard you hit, okay, so it will show you the power of uh, your last hit, the best hit, average power, and um, so that you can track the effectiveness of your of your techniques here. Okay, and then again, it's, and then you see there'll be a graph down here of all your hits, and um, so that's what that game measure uh, measures. So it'll tell you in joules uh, what the power is for each of your hits. Okay, and then lastly, I want to show you the fit test. Okay. Um, so there's no live mode for this one yet, and uh, there will be coming up, but uh, for now you can just start the fit test, okay? Again, very important to choose your gamer tag. If you don't choose your gamer tag, it'll just play, pick up uh, a anonymous player, it'll call a player one, and that data just won't save. So you just want to test it and not kind of save it to your profile, you can just do it that way, okay? Start game, 
throw my pin, double tap, sync up. Okay, and then um, again, so what it's going to do is going to do uh, two minutes of uh, reaction, uh, 30 second break, one minute power, 30 second break, two minute stamina. So all those games I showed you before, uh, that's what it's going to do. And it's going to show you all the data in a graph format, right? Um, it's going to show you your average, your best time, number of hits, your last hit up here, and that's the timer. It's counting down how much is left for that round. So this is going to go through the full two minutes, uh, and then it will give you a 30 second break. Uh, and you can see all the information also on the vest, so you can just focus on the vest while you're uh, while you're training. And uh, once it's uh, in the break mode, this will say that you're in break mode. You know, this will also tell you that it's in break mode. And then the next session will start, which will be power. Uh, that will finish. Uh, that'll take about a minute, and then that'll finish. And then I don't know why I'm hitting it. I just feel like I have to hit something <laughs> when it goes white. Uh, then the this, the stamina session will will uh, finish. And then uh, once you have that, all that data will be stored, and then you can share that with your with your coach as well. And then the idea there is what the fit test is, it shows you generally how fit you are. Uh, so how fast you are, how strong you are, what your stamina is. And you can take that uh, fit test anytime, it only takes five minutes, you know, before a practice, after a practice, before a game, after a game, and uh, use that data to, um, well, to better know yourself and to uh, help you get better. Okay, hopefully that tutorial helped you. Any questions, you can always message me directly and I'll be happy to answer any questions. Thanks, guys.